Hi, I'm Dennis Franklin, and this is a look back at This Week in History. On this day, February 17, 1909, Geronimo, the great leader of the Apache Indians, dies. He was 80 years old. And on the same day, in 1972, Green Day's frontman, Billy Joe Armstrong, is born in Oakland, California. On this day, February 18, 1977, the Enterprise, NASA's first space shuttle, flies for the first time piggyback on top of a Boeing 747. Designed without engines or a functional heat shield, the Enterprise was never meant to be flown into space. Today, you can visit the space shuttle on display at the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. February 21, 1965, Malcolm Little, better known as Malcolm X, is shot and killed as a crowd of 400 look on. He was just 39 years old. 1971, President Richard Nixon signs a proclamation which declared the third Monday in February be set aside as a holiday to honor all presidents, including himself. Though this was a proclamation, not an executive order, the federal statute designates this day officially as George Washington's birthday. So we celebrate you, George, our first president, born February 22, 1732. And on the same day in 1980, the USA hockey team does the impossible. They beat the USSR in the Olympics at Lake Placid for the gold. And on this day, February 22nd, 1997, two Scottish scientists introduced us to the first cloned mammal, a sheep. They named her Dolly. Today, Dolly can be seen at the Royal Museum in Scotland. They say the next big thing is here, that the revolution's near, but to me it seems quite And that's a look back at moments this week in history. It's all just a little bit of history repeating.